day seven is upon us and this is the day we are really at our last chances of getting anything up and ready for the horde so welcome back as you can see we're just going to be doing a bit more work on our defenses and this is really the last chance we have okay so this is this is it this is the blood moon hard like kind of horde at night so we've got all day to get ourselves set and ready to go so we've got a bit of time yet so if you're still struggling and you still haven't managed to get yourself secured and we still got time today um as you can see and i have some decent tools and various bits and bobs so we could just get on with doing some work on the building itself you're going to want to have basically two levels of defense downstairs and somewhere upstairs to secure yourself you want to make sure that your foundation for your downstairs is going to survive because don't forget if they smash up a few walls you want to make sure that you can you know take that kind of damage and you can still hold the integrity of upstairs as you can see i've got two doorways into the building uh, they will try and go for the doors usually but let's see how we fare now the horde already know we're here so i'm just going to continue to build whilst we are now at the as you can see we are sensed that's it now they will come for us you know whatever you're going to do they're still going to come for you so why not use this time now to uh to continue building they can't get to me so there we go let's just let's just break down the ladder so they can't get to us there we go so that's it now so the upstairs is as secure as it's gonna be uh, all i'm doing now is just working on just continually updating the building downstairs is gonna have to hold now it's gonna have to take whatever it can and hopefully we'll still be standing by the end of tonight um look at that see sensed there's nothing we can do now that we can break that sense and as you can hear the zombies are relentless um i'll just make sure they can't get up there so the other thing to kind of make note on as well that i did notice whilst doing this the the zombies seem to just have a certain amount i think if there's any that are in the area they will come because they'll hear the screamers but whatever's coming is it so if you manage to kill them all by the defenses then we may hopefully not see any more now i don't know how much of that is true until i get further into the game but certainly on this there were only a couple left by the end of the night obviously we have the spikes down in our little hole that we've been creating and that does take some of them out thankfully um the crawlers obviously dig try and dig underneath which causes a lot of damage on the building but hopefully we'll still be standing by the end of this so we can just continue working through the night now there's there's no hiding there's you know normally you don't want to be working through the night because obviously if you work through the night and zombies come they start damaging your defenses before you've even had a chance to build them up so but there's no worry that because they're already trying to smash them down so we'll just continue to build on the no we're not going to break anything here so i mean you can break those senses a little bit when you're moving around in like your stealth mode which is your crouch mode but they're still going to come relentlessly for you um i'm just trying to obviously hide from the rain as well which we're just having a look at building the roof here now but remember if you put it too far out the support won't take it and it'll just drop and i wasn't really happy with the height as well we're making it a bit higher obviously remember the downstairs needs to support the weight of the upstairs as well thankfully we have we've improved that and we'll improve that even more moving on to day 14 um as you can see it's gone a bit quiet it's weirdly quiet I think we may have taken the majority of the horde out already from our defences. So there's just going to be stragglers around. Um, another level up there. So we're just going to continue working. 
you, you, you can't do anything wrong now really it's down to you what you do as long as your downstairs is going to support it um, remember as well we're on day seven so they're going to damage stuff downstairs so make sure you're over supporting your base um, I'm just going to basically get the chance to dry off here so we'll just create a, a campfire just to kind of do us for now doesn't have to be anything pretty just to dry us off last thing you want to do is get pneumonia obviously the game doesn't give you actual pneumonia but it will kill you if you get too cold so that's what we're going to be doing here is just continuing to build we'll just get some more some more frames built there you just can never have too many frames I do there are a lot of things that you can do like you can build brick and stuff like that but I have to admit certainly over the recent times I've been using the wood frames to level and them up level and them up using um, iron now I'll give you a little tip here when you're using iron to upgrade your base okay yeah it's easy enough just to smell everything and then give yourself iron however I learned a little trick which I think is probably better than just smelting iron and using that because you want forged iron for your tools but when you obviously we talk about scrapping tools once they've been used and done when you scrap a tool you get iron it's not forged iron it's just plain iron um, I think at about 150 for a weapon uh, that's just a good bit of upgrading for your base uh, between 20 to 40 depending on what you upgrade and whatnot you want to be using that instead I think um, there's no harm in, in smelting it and taking it anyway but why waste why waste it when you can just build weapon uh, sorry build tools and stuff like that and then you can just break them down at a later stage once you get yourself a good amount of obviously of, of spur iron you want to be using that to get yourself upgraded and your base in a better condition than what it is now you'll notice that the iron will last a hell of a lot longer certainly at the levels that we're at, at the moment and this is what happens when you go too far without putting anything down there we go it just all smashes down so you've got to support it so we're quite quiet on the zombie front there's a couple of bits moving around but nothing nothing anywhere near us at the moment quite safe oh there we are that's just building some more supports so they're inside now so i'm just going to continue building there's nothing really we can do yet we will get round to taking them out um, now if you want to play it safe you can take them out once the daylight comes because they become dormant again and quite easy to kill but there you go there they are well, let's have a bit of fun and kill them while we're down here they can't get up to us had there been more then they would start smashing everything up around them however we're quite lucky that only three of them managed to get in and there's a few dead bodies down there so I'd certainly say that we've uh, We've done a good job on our defences. So now that the night's over with, everything goes back to normal, you can continue doing what you were doing and getting more resources and getting yourself ready for day 14. Um, you've got a bit more time to play now though, you've got a good basis, so um, use that, continue to uh, explore, get your crates that you haven't got if you haven't got them already. Um, you want to be looking at giving yourself a good defence on your iron doors rather than just wooden doors if you haven't already done so so i'm gonna i'm gonna fast forward now to day 14 and give you a bit of a sneak peek on how it looks and also what's kind of left behind by the end of it as well so you can kind of get yourself an idea that it is a bit more involved and that if you're not prepared for it you could be having problems but it's much much easier for day 14 preparations so let's go and have a look at that now so you'll notice our exploring has paid off. I'm holding a rocket launcher. 
you'll find a lot more weapons will appear when you've got your scavenger up and stuff like that and obviously i've had time to have a look around and look at some buildings that's all really i was doing between day 7 and 14 was exploring still gaining resources well as you can hear now there's a lot bigger zombie presence so if you haven't gotten yourself up some iron defenses now you're going to be struggling um and this is basically as you can see the upper level has now been completed we, we still have a campfire up here just in case we needed it it's all secured now downstairs has got two iron doors um upgraded up to the maximum level that they can do and i've still got the spikes down there for any zombies that decide to roam um as you can see there's a lot more zombies so you're going to expect every seven days for these hordes to increase you see i've got full iron tools you're going to need them i've got a weapon that i need if i need it i've got a backup um but you're going to want to make sure your downstairs is very very secure i've as you can see through the gap there you can see that there's pillars now nicely um, upgraded certainly the lower level of them are up to iron so that if a crawler tries to smash it up then it's going to survive and that's what you want to be looking at doing and as you can hear they are walking all over that front end and they're going to be smashing that door down and you can hear the door being hit now there we go see so you're going to be wanting to make sure that is not wood if that's a wooden door they're going to come through that like paper there's too many of them to hold off and if they get inside the likelihood is is they're going to start smashing the place up downstairs and the building's going to collapse they still favor the door i'm not sure why they favor the door but they do it's the stronger part of my building uh, the rest of the ground is still um, wooden however there are two layers of them uh, i have upgraded all around the doors as well of iron and stuff like that but as you can see we're surviving and that's the important thing is we're upstairs still the same concept still the same and there is no way they're going to get up here so let's have a gander at the aftermath of day 14 so here we go that is the horde night ended as you can see the sky has gone kind of back to its normal self it is a bit foggy so it's going to prove difficult for us to see as you can see we've extended the top layer now so we can get outside um we're still working on it we've got our little kind of ditch area being built and a, and a lot of work going on here um now i am gonna have a play around with this lunch because i don't know what it does so let's make sure we don't blow ourselves up uh, i wasn't overly excited i thought the graphics on it wasn't huge brilliant brilliant either but there we go we still killed them so let's have a look downstairs as you can see we're clear nothing has made it this time inside because the doors are a lot stronger we still got the zombies around us as you can see we've got our weapon we can have a play around now and clear it up and uh there's a few different zombies as well as you can see that's a flaming zombie um you're a lot more secure now because obviously the night's over with you see most of them have died by the door and on the spikes they will get attracted to you but we don't need to worry about that Let's continue to let's just get everything collected and then as you can see most of our defenses have survived we've not even gone in through the walls i think there was a, well yeah there's obviously as you can see they've took a lot of damage on some of the walls but as you can see the the brunt of it is the front end so i'd say that was a successful defense so that's just this is the kind of layout you want to be looking at for your day 14 um and then obviously you continue to make it look how you want it to look but with that kind of concept in 
and see the damaging bit. The, the crawlers see they can't get themselves up, so they do smash up anything that they can reach. So you will get collateral damage as well. Uh, but look at that. Doors aren't that bad, really. One door down. I'd say that's not bad for it. And that door wasn't fully upgraded either, by the way. So, as you can see, that's that's why it's crucial to get what we've been doing. Um, hopefully this has given you some idea on what to expect from day 7. And obviously leading on to day 14. And why it's crucial to do the things that we're doing and supporting it with good foundations. So, that's it for the survival guide in depth. I will be doing a smaller kind of hints and tips guide so keep an eye out for that make sure you subscribe and get the notification up there with the little bell so you can see uh, when that arrives that'll just be a bit of a shorter video with all the tips and everything on there for you to use well thank you very much for watching this new series and hopefully you've enjoyed it if, um, if you've got any ideas or anything then make sure you leave a comment below thank you very much everybody and i will see you all soon